Hello and welcome back to Life is Strange. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Yeah, you saved your friend. I think that's a pretty decent thing to do. So let's skedaddle. I say, I'm, I'm constantly trying to do the right thing. It's going to end up kicking me so hard in the head, isn't it? That's the lighthouse from our dream. So was the dream actually a flash forward to the future, do we think? I was wondering if it might be, but... Uh, ah. Aww. I love deer. Very rarely see deer in the wild. I've only seen them Isn't this awesome twice, sauce? three times. Totally like reminds that. me of when we were kids. Come on, slowpoke! Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Creepy stormy dream. Oh. Thank this you. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Up to the lighthouse. <laughs> nice black eye. <laughs> Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> uh, okay, that, yeah, that is beautiful. <laughs> nice job, artwork team. Trust no one. Well, that's cheery graffiti, isn't it? A gorilla head. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Well, some of that's mathematical. It's nonsense as well. So. Ooh, footprints. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? Well, the paw prints of some description. Dog, maybe? Oh, a haiku. A tree haiku? How pretty. So that just says, Turn this way haiku? now, or face the lonely How autumn pretty. tree, and never look back. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. <laughs> You're in a good mood. You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. Mm. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Did you take a peek? Uh, yes. Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. Mm. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the, the house? There are spy cams in the house. Know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. 
Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? Oh, good lord. I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. No. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So what about... So what happened? So what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious. I can't. I already didn't sleep. like the guy. Now I really want to what beat him to death then? with a s very I large I would sword. I him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom, and he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. What are you going to do? Pop a cap in his ass? Let's call the police. Screw that. Apparently they're not going to do you much. You already told the principal, like and this. I'm sure it's useless. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. We'll find her. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh boy. Ah. Oh no! Not again! I say this is some sort of flash to the future, isn't it? It has to be. Why is this happening to me? Why am I here again? Because something bad is gonna happen. And I think you're meant to stop it. Or possibly make it happen. This is the problem, whenever you get into um, anything regarding prophetic imagery. Never be entirely sure what the hell is going on. I have to find out. Okay. Avoid that. That's all the way in. Can we get around it? Can we? Kind of useful that we don't move when uh, we travel backwards through time, so we can do things like that. Okay, so how come that deer's kind of see through? Shadow would be rather than what I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. I thought the first time that we went up here that that stuff was going to go around. That is... That is a pretty flaming epic hurricane. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! This is coming, isn't it? This is going to happen. October 11th? 
Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Loose translation, we're gonna get effectively a day in episode. That's fine. I'm totally okay with it. The is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. Mm. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just sold. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come mm. on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. She's gonna like think I crazy. Said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't she know does. what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <laughs> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Mm. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. This is going to be the end of episode one, isn't it? Yeah, I'm guessing most of these videos are going to get flagged for music. Because YouTube and they're insanely out of date copyright stuff. The music industry is almost really awful for copyright business. But anyway. Yes, as a, at the moment I'm worried she's going to end up being a Cassandra. For anyone who doesn't know, oh, Cassandra's Tears basically refers to uh, the prophet from, I think it was the Bible, named Cassandra, who she basically she could foretell the future, but she was cursed that no one would ever believe her. Which meant she could see this stuff coming and she couldn't do a damn thing about it. So Cassandra's Tears basically refers to anyone who is in the same situation. They can see the future but no one ever believes them and they're just doomed for it to happen regardless. I think that was... I think Cassandra was the Bible. I'd have to double check. I haven't, I haven't read the Bible in a very long time. I mean, I did go to a Church of England primary school, but... Uh, Because Rachel's obviously going to be very important. Yes, that was episode one, which was... That was interesting. It was very interesting. You know, and the end of episode one's probably a pretty good time to call this video. You know, because that way I'll actually flag each. You know, so the first few parts of this Let's Play series will be Let's Play Life is Strange episode one, part one. But I'll make sure to stick it all into one complete Let's Play Life is Strange playlist. So, yes. I'll let the credits play out fully, you don't have to watch them, but... Uh, yes, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next part.
Ah, no, I always quite like these screens, so... 66 people... 66% well, of people reported him. 74% comforted Victoria. 82% did read... Apparently I'm... Yeah, I am uh, doing the most obvious popular choices for everything. Fair enough. So yes, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.